so when uh, when the first ten uh, ayahs are to be the most authentic reference, that these are the ten ayahs which are going yeah. to have the the actual shield against uh, the child. Yeah. So we really need to understand of what uh, what is going to be happening during the time of the child. In the first episode, we did cover of what's uh, yeah, what's the map going to look like. Yeah. So these uh, ayahs. If you look at them clearly, you can actually see that uh, belief in the the book, the Quran, is the first thing that we have to understand that there is absolute perfection in this. So there will be the first fitna of how to confuse Quran, as that there are some good things, technical mistakes. Maybe Uthman and Fan did this. Maybe Abu Bakr Siddiq did this, and Zaid did yeah, this. Yeah. Uh, maybe the Sabas later on burnt something or less. Yeah. Know, could be anything. And this is the first ayah which says that you know what this book. There's a promise of Allah. Anyone else, anyone, even if they try their best, they cannot fiddle with this book because the promise of it, the, if, if it being the the, uh, the completeness and the perfection of that very message is in this book. Yeah. So uh, this is the first fitan that we already are seeing now. We already have Allah, and seeing this. Now. It even the Quran begins with almost the same ayah, Surah Baqarah. Yeah. Like Zalika Kitabu La Rafi. There is yeah. no uh, doubt about this yeah. book. So this and actually shows there is no deviance. Yeah. This this is this is a, a clear declaration <laughs> that uh, one of the many fitan of uh, the Jal is yeah. against the very uh, uh, concept of Quran's perfection okay. and completion and. Uh, uh, invariability that there are no versions of the Quran and there is no uh, no tampering or fabrication in any sorts in the context or in the dialect or in the meaning or in the sequence or in the stress stress is where Allah Taala has put the stress on a certain word or in the phrasing I and mean, there's so many levels of Allah that you know we 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 so we'll have to go through that though. so this is going to be the start of the biggest fitan that there are wrong angles and right angles. Yeah. There are wrong levels and le uh, right levels. There are more important levels and there are less important levels. There's no such thing like that in the Quran. Quran is as complete from whatever angle you look at. Yeah. It's as correct from whatever angle you look at because there are schools right now opening inside the Islamic Ummah. They are actually talking about, uh, of course there are Muslims by, by any meaning, but they, they represent Muslims and then they put, uh, for example, the Qadianis they put the meaning of the new prophethood from the Quran and now there's a lot of uh, 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 tahrimi ayahs hmm. which are taken from the Quran and then you know they just you know they take the meaning off hmm. so on and so forth uh, then there of course will come a time and there will be a lot of things proven from the Quran that there is a son of God there is a very clear indicator in these ayahs that the wow. concept of Ad-Dajjal will be in a lot of ways very verifiable by the Quranic uh, psychology of that time of that time that's the kind of psychology we'll be moving towards and that's where the where, where the first strike is blown well so a lot Allah, of course, I'll just uh, quote a little story here like uh, I had a, I was having a debate once with a with a Christian in in England uh, it was a Muslim Christian debate and there was a random guy who just walked in I don't really remember, but he he asked me to to open the Quran, and in the Arabic text, he went to a certain point and he says, "You see this? This shows that God has a son, and you Muslims have it right in front of your eyes, but you don't believe this." Oh my God! I really don't remember what he said, but it was like Mahdi wal Ahdi. There is a word of Mahad, the grave. From that, he took out the meaning of Mahdi. And from there, he linked it to something in the Surah Maryam, and he said that this is right here in front of you, but you guys can't understand. Yeah. So probably this might uh, go to a bigger level. Or, or the concept of a ruh, which were asked by the Jews, by the way, yeah. because when Allah says ruh Allah, of for uh, Isa, that's a big confusion. Big, a lot yeah. of uh, Muslims have why is Allah calling Isa as ruh Allah? And yeah. not claiming that he is Allah at the same time, yeah. which is going to be a door opener for a lot of people who want fitan in Muslims, who are deviants themselves, and uh, who are uh, practically the cause of the biggest evil that is ever going to come upon us. Because Ruh Allah is the word that they actually ask as well, yeah. uh, Ruh. So this could could very well be, because that's what I used to think whenever I used to think of Surah Kaf first, and I was like, where is this concept coming from? 
uh, of verse, the first 10 ayah. What, are they, what, what is the concept that, concept that these first 10 ayah are countering? And the first thing that comes into is, uh, your mind is the c c completion of the Quran. And right, the next third ayah is about the, the Son of God. And the yeah. Son of God concept, even though it is blatantly refuted in so many ayahs, yeah. but the concept of Ruh is very, very complicated. Uh, and people do talk about that. There's actually so many religions on Ruh and there's so many philosophies on Ruh that Muslims will uh, end up, uh, you know, falling prey to so many of that sort of uh, uh, philosophical errors that there could be a problem in the, the Muslim ranks that yes, Isa is not an actual son, but maybe a spiritual son or the son in spirit or the son in light or yeah. whatever. I don't know, but because you never know what kind of uh, introspective, uh, uh, you know, errors uh, human beings can make. But these three eyes really open that, that, that uh, shine that light towards what is about to happen in the time of the Jal. Okay, so they have no knowledge about this, nor did their forefathers. It is a monstrous assertion that comes out of their mouths. What they say is nothing but lies. There you go. Now, this is a problem here. Uh, see, forefather is a key word here. Yeah. Because that literally shows that uh, the Jal is going to uh, be first befriending the Christians. Because Jews' forefathers never actually said that there's a son of God. You have to understand, Christians' forefathers yeah. are the only forefathers who came up with this concept. <laughs> yeah. So that's the real problem. And that's uh, the uh, foresight of the Quran telling us of what the, the Jal is going to do. Well, Allah, Allah, of course, is one way of looking at it. Uh, that uh, he is going to come as Isa and uh, he is going to have all of their forefathers backing him up right. and uh, he is naturally going to be called the son of God and this is why he's going to be counter to the first ten ayahs. So uh, why would he come as uh, uh, Isa uh, We have the hadith which literally sh uh, shows us uh, that uh, Dajjal is going to mimic and mirror Isa The Prophet had a dream uh, and then of course uh, 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 during the journey of Miraj as well. The journey of Miraj, you see with Surah Bani Israel again. Yeah. The first thing Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says is, where is this guy standing in the Kaaba? And Jibail means says, this curly guy is, is uh, a Dajjal. So uh, the first thing that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sees in the journey of Miraj is a Dajjal. So uh, okay. he's sitting in the, uh, standing in the Kaaba. So uh, of course... Was uh, it the dream where he's like... Walking behind. No, no that's not. That's a separate dream altogether. Okay. The, the, that's a totally different dream. That's the dream of uh, Prophet looking at Isa Islam doing the tabaf of Kaaba. And then exactly. And the then same right person. behind Isa is uh, a Dajjal doing exactly what Isa is doing because he's leaning on the shoulders of two men, and two men are actually literally carrying him towards the tabaf, and uh, the Dajjal is also doing that. Right. So behind that, him. Yeah, yeah, he's doing the tabaf. Two men doing, yeah, the doing the tabaf. Okay. So that's one dream, and then there's another sight which there's is in this the real. In the, in, the, in, the, in the Miraj, yeah, the story of Miraj. So the, the real question is, uh, what does that got to do with Isa al-Islam? Well, the Isa al-Islam <coughs> is in the, uh, in the dream and he's mirroring Isa al-Islam. Mm -hmm. And then the, there's another hadith uh, that your Lord is one now one eyed. They're the only, only religion that calls uh, uh, their prophet uh, Lord is uh, the Christians. Yeah. So that also is another hint, very clear hint. It's not just a hint, it's literally a, a, you know, of, of a full tale that the Dajjal has way more probability of coming as Christians, as uh, Isa al-Islam for the Christians. And he will have about 4 billion people following him right there because they're already waiting for him. Yeah. Uh, and uh, in the book of Revelations and the book of Matthews and also uh, book of, uh, well, in the book of Revelation, there are so much uh, stories about uh, uh, how uh, uh, the Antichrist will be recognized as Antichrist. Mm. Even though he will have the kingdom, but all of a sudden he's just come, going to come in and declare incest as, a, as an allowable sin. And that's the first sign of Antichrist. Which means that if you read the book of Revelations, I'm talking about the King James Version right now. Uh, uh, actually, it's in the, all three, the, the three versions, because this, this verse is uh, unanimously agreed upon, uh, that uh, he's going to... Uh, Allow the original sin, which means uh, uh, which Adam, uh, Adam's son, and we could have had 
uh, a possibility of incest at that time because yeah. there were only two possibilities of because yeah. uh, everyone was a son, uh, the, the, the brother and sister of each other, literally yeah. from the same father mother. Yeah. So that was technically incest. So that's what they actually call that. You know, uh, he's going to use the same logic, and he's going to uh, yeah. allow the the original sin. Original sin means. Uh, uh, he's going to allow incest. So a brother can marry a sister and a father can marry a daughter and a mother can marry a son. And as soon as he's going to declare that, the Christian community is going to declare him as an antichrist. And that is the, that is the first unveiling of the un antichrist. Even though he will be given that kingdom, he will be inside the third temple, he will be the, 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 th the, the, the throne bearer of the world at that time. So uh, that's the time and a, a faction of Christians will pick a fight and go to, you know, turn to swords and go to the battle against the Antichrist. And that's uh, something which the book of Revelation says. Good could be a true on all accounts. I have no uh, complaints or, uh, and, you know, uh, there's no technical error in there. Uh, however, uh, the very fact that Quran actually refused the concept of Christianity in Surah Kaf which means that that's way bigger of a confusion than Christians are going to be going through. And the biggest turmoil for Muslims is not about just the job. It is the army of the job, which is all the Christians of the world. And that is what we cannot convince them out of because that then they will have miracles. Yeah. Then they will have actual proof that their God is God. That yeah. Jesus Christ is God. That yeah. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. All yeah. those Christians will have a field day on... Uh, on the Muslims and even yeah. the Jews that, you yeah. know, you actually called us that, you know, look at our Jesus, look at him bringing people from the dead, yeah, look like, at him actually claiming God. Like in us Muslims, although we do have uh, certain factions among Muslims who still believes in um, the miracles done by different sort of saints or saintly figures, but Christians, they genuinely, all of them, believe in miracles done by their popes and their fathers yeah. and yes their that's true things like this that's true but they don't claim to be son or god or god they don't yeah but, but they do. can believe that by humans even a human can do miracles and yeah. it becomes some something big for them literally yeah. uh however the, the real point here that people should understand since we are doing surah kaf here uh we better understand that uh the landscape right now has a four billion population which is half the world which actually believes that there is a guy who is a son of god who brings people uh, back from the dead, who makes uh, it rain, who makes uh, dead barren land bear fruit, who yeah. gives uh, uh, light to the born blind, and so on and so forth. All yeah. of a sudden, all of a sudden, there will come a guy who's going to literally start doing that. Yeah. Lo and behold, they everyone else the is... things that were done by Jesus at his time, right? There will be Anyways. literally those things, but we since don't, we, we don't know what kind of account Jesus actually had. Yeah. So we will have to see what the John is going to be doing. Yeah, yeah. But that's not the problem. The problem is, Isa al-Islam never claimed to be son of God, yeah. right? Or God. But that's, Quran is the only book which says that. Four billion people do not believe in that book. Four billion people believe that that man claimed to be God and is claiming to be son of God. So a Dajjal is going to claim that initially yeah. so that, so that the, the four billion people will literally have a blind submission upon him. Not just that, but renewal of their faith. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They will have the biggest possible proof that any, any, uh, any religion, any human, any individual would need to actually affirm, reaffirm his faith. And, and that's why I'm saying that that's a very big Easter they're going to be celebrating. And we are already like heavily influenced by everything that comes from the West. And I think by that time when he comes, we're going to be bombarded through our media. Oh my God, and This is the that, man, uh, that's the truth. Oh, that's a good this way of like, looking at it. The yeah. bad way of looking at it is that uh, we will be massacred brutally yeah. by the Christians. If we don't that accept that. Yeah, yeah. And we will be, we will be. Yeah, will be. And... Uh, that's why I've said the first two ayahs are to be really not noticed because Quran, first and foremost, as soon as the Dajjal is going to convince the Christians, he naturally has to convince the rest of the three billion people, right? And that's Muslims. So how is he going to prove that? He is going to put that uh, concept of imperfection in the Quran and the word Ru Allah will become a totally big, different meaning. Wow. And that's where the Muslim scholars are going to have, a lot of Muslim scholars are going to give bayah to the Dajjal that yes, 
since they will be looking at overwhelmed by miracles, you know, and they'll be looking at uh, like Isa al Islam acting like Isa al Islam. He's the correct, most most pious, most giving, most compassionate man, yeah. and then he's telling you what the real meaning of the Ruh Allah actually yeah. means and he's actually going to come with a middle ground between the being the son of God or just God and so on and so forth. Yeah. And then when we have already so many scholars that are always justifying concepts of big huge saints like Ghaus Epak and so, oh, yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, thing. Yeah. So, so that's that. going to be a real Ghaus Epak, you know, <laughs> right in front of you. <laughs> Here we are like justifying all the time a dead was The karama, yeah, the karamas of uh, the all, yeah, yeah. But that's 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 again, uh, that's too small of a matter because <laughs> this guy will be doing a little stuff for 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 for, for, for the whole uh, globe, and and this is something which is uh, uh, which is something which we all should know of what Surah Kaf is trying to do. In the, yeah, I'm just talking about the first three ayahs, and it opens yeah. such a big door, yeah, uh, because it addresses about seven billion people already. Yeah. And since uh, Jews are the smallest religion right now, it, it, you know, it doesn't really matter whether they believe in this or not. Yeah. Right now, what matters for us is what Christians believe in because that's yeah, the biggest problem we're going to have from. Yeah. Uh, and, so, uh, uh, you know, we cannot even live up to uh, how to actually resist the American policy or, or the NATO policy or whatever policy. You think we're going to be able to live against uh, the right wingers at that time of the, of, the, of the planet? No, I don't think so. This is going to be a big problem and we will have to submit either for the sake of our livelihood or for the sake of our life literally or for the sake of our of whatever kind of religion at that time we would have and uh, we will be submitting to a Dajjal uh, even if those believers think that he is not uh, Isa al-Islam they will have that sort of a leverage that Islam does allow for the sake of our saving our lives to submit to him and uh, for the fear of life for the fear because of life mentions yeah, it. Yeah. you can say yeah. Kalamata so for this, yeah. to save your life so uh, we will have two or maybe three wow. uh, factions so, so, so we, we might have fatwas coming from all the Literally, ulama yeah. that just say the Kalamai Kufar yes. submit to him because yes. you're allowed to you, do so because he's going to kill you right there uh, or you will be killed right there Allah, and we don't have we, we haven't been given any training of the way of Azima like, yeah, yeah. We have only Even though there are way more accounts of Sahaba putting themselves to death. Yeah. There's only one account of Ammar bin Yasir. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. then Sahal Khubab, they were lynching him alive. And, yeah. uh, you know, uh, Subhanallah. Uh, this is something which we better understand. And the farther we go from the Prophet, the lesser we're going to be able to uh, withstand, uh, you know, those uh, problems which come in the way of us and our Iman. And this is why the 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 problem is it's I mean it's just the first three ayahs reveal so much light upon why Muslims will be submitting to a Dajjal uh, by hook or by crook. Okay, so then perhaps you would kill yourself through grief over them, O Muhammad, if they do not believe in the message and out of sorrow. Yeah. Indeed, we uh, have. Uh, made uh, this is something which is uh, which is okay and another sign, because the Prophet Islam, We have to understand the Prophet Islam, the <coughs> compassion of the Prophet Islam is that he was worried so much that uh, why are these people not listening to such a you know bayyana? Uh, and uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says that no, don't 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 uh, put that as such a big burden on yourself, and uh, you will you know uh, you know your grief is. Uh, not something which is uh, called for right now because yeah. you know whoever is going to come into Iman is the decision of Allah, the decree of Allah. And so uh, this is something which is uh, uh, another, uh, uh, you know, it's a, it's a deeper uh, meaning in that time that uh, we might have to, I, uh, God forbid, you know, it makes me cry because I'm talking about my son here, my daughter, my, my wives and kids and there will be times and most of us will go through that. Uh, maybe we will be those people who, for which our folks are going to go through for, for the fact that our daughters and sons are going to be running towards a Dajjal. And this is something which we might have to, we might have to just give them up. And this is something which is this ayah literally showing us that uh, your grief is something which is, which is real, but it's, it's not going to do anything. Uh, whoever is decreed as, you know, a, a person of uh, Ashabul Jannah is Ashabul Jannah. And, Ashabu Nard is Ashabu Nard is seen just only for Allah. So uh, this is this ayah actually gives us. You can only do so much. Yeah, and yeah. this ayah tells us that you know our loved ones are going to be literally, literally uh, running towards the Dajjal right in front of us. 
and we won't be able to help them and there will be more people who are going towards him than then so and we can expect okay the topic now changes here is uh, yeah literally. we have adorned the earth with attractive things so that so that we may test to people test people to find out which of which of them do best i think we should read that a bit and in the okay auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem inna ja'alna ma 'ala al-ard zinatan laha linabluwahum ayyuhum ahsanu 'amala there you go now this is the word which does not actually say at dunya it just <coughs> says al-ard i'm sure you understand that okay so at that time uh, we're going to go into detail in the next episodes we'll just make give you a little preview the jal is not going to be using resources of just of this earth okay that's where the the bigger problem is going to happen because he's going to be producing some stuff which is un- unseen and that is placed in some other parts mm-hmm. and that's also called al ard and yeah. that is something which is going to uh, create a way bigger fitan for for the the people that where is he coming up with this these sort of creatures and these because his donkey he is not from this planet yeah uh, that but is that but it is from ard yeah right. so the horse of rasul allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam miraj yeah, we didn't even discuss that he was also not from earth oh of course not we did discuss that a little but yeah we we are going to discuss that in inside the okay so the, it means we always have to keep a very very broader perspective of the word al ard yeah yeah, yeah we yes. don't have to limit it to this earth yeah we we can okay uh, ard means all the terrestrial planes of all the planets in all the heavens yeah for example that isa is in on ard right now but not in dunya yeah because when allah taala allah subhanahu wa taala says a uh, dunya he specific, specifically means this planet earth okay muzayyana samaa ad-dunya in surah mulk yeah is the the sky of our planet okay yeah you don't say that muzayyana samaa ad-dunya rabbana atina fi ad-dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana yeah humans being human beings are told that you know the life on this planet dunya yeah, yeah. You and know. there's in uh, even in surah al-baqarah where allah says the seven earths and seven skies i know that's al-talaq yeah surah talaq okay, yeah, sorry yeah, yeah so even there we have ard yeah but that's a lot of ard a lot, a lot of ard that's where we actually pick it up from uh, okay that, yeah know? that's a very very strong uh, actually evidence yeah the that the ard is, is uh, ard ard means lots of ard all the, can be oh, and the biggest argument is the biggest argument is even ard, even yeah. more than that in that an intellectual level you have to understand uh that uh, adam alayhi salam adam alayhi salam yeah. was created by from earth earth yeah. but we all know that adam alayhi salam was not created in this planet yeah. he came to this planet to later this. on yeah, yeah 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 exactly you have to understand that yeah. so uh it's not like adam was created here and then taken to heaven and then brought back this is not the what the account of the quran is yeah he was created from the earth of somewhere else yeah and al surah al hijr will you can find out of what kind of clay that actually was, uh, was. Yeah. and that's the same clay that is mentioned in surah kaf that is By the way, there is there is a scientific research i read it a few years uh, before they said that <coughs> everything all the elements or things that exist on this planet earth when they are tested like through different ways in the labs they can show their origin being belonging to earth but just like iron does not belong to earth star elements so similarly human kind does not belong to earth that is now even a scientific study yeah that's true and that also is in the quran of when adam al islam was created and the word ham which is used for uh, the clay which was yeah. used to create adam al islam is is a totally different kind of clay that's that's uh that's a totally different clay which uh, surah rahman talks about uh uh of how you know uh human beings are created or 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 the clay of hell and the clay of heaven and then uh, uh we have to understand that you know there are different totally different places where there is that kind of clay uh, we also have a lot of clay in this planet and that's not something which we should confuse as the only clay in the universe hmm. okay so when this aya says uh uh you know that there are so many things in the on ard ard, ard. <coughs> yeah, you have to understand that uh, when the jal is going to come up with stuff you should understand that it is still but i think i feel like um, in this aya it's talking about this ard why because it says that we have adorned the earth with attractive things so that we may test people to yeah. find out which no, no, that's literally actually exact meaning of why i take it that is not going to be from this earth okay but 
The, the test us, is of these people. Being tested, yeah. Test is of these people. But the things are from other planets. Oh, okay. We are talking about in the context of the Jal. The Jal, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. And the Jal is going to bring about some stuff which is going to be a big test yeah. for these people of how can this. Not just the Jal. Like we have so many things that are going to be coming to this. Well, we'll talk about that in uh, later verses. So yeah. many different creatures which are like not from here. Like Adabatul Ard. Adabatul Ard. It's still Ard, but it's not going to come from this planet. Yeah. Because this planet animals don't speak. Yeah. That is an animal which is going to speak. Yeah. And it is also going to come from. Somewhere else, somewhere on else. this planet, and how he comes to this planet again can be a portal, sign. can be anything. Yeah, well, well, it is a portal and because then, at that time all portals are open. Then we have Yajuj Majuj, also from some other they, planet. Yeah, yeah, they they don't belong or here. Or some other portal or some yeah. other dimension. Yeah. Uh, so and, uh, these are all. Uh, and the birds who's gonna carry their dead bodies again, yeah. or also uh, the birds who came from uh, for uh, Asabel Field. Asabel Field, yeah. 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 Those yeah. are the birds who never people never saw and yeah. people never saw again. Yeah. yeah. So and whatever they did, they did not do something which happened scientifically on anything, uh, on this not earth. just on this uh, yeah. with with the thing, the weapon that they used. Also, whatever happened to their body was not. Normal on under the laws of physics that happens to things because they decay in matter of seconds. Subhanallah. Okay. You know what I'm saying so they didn't just throw stones. Yeah, there was but something else. They threw else. something with the stones. Some yeah. chemicals. Or maybe something. there is a regular stone in some planet where they come from. Wow, which has a different chemical composition. Totally different, that and our can... bodies cannot adhere to that sort of chemistry. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's okay. something which... Uh, well, now, this is Surah Feel. Surah Feel. Almost all Muslims read this in um, every prayer. Yeah. <laughs> but we never thought about it like this. Yeah, so Seriously, that's, uh, I never thought about it this, like this. SubhanAllah. And so, that's an elephant we're talking about. You know, it took it takes a lot of years before an elephant and becomes... And they were the people of elephant. Like, they had an, an army of elephants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who were crushed within a very Seconds. little time. Seconds. And then, they even decayed. Right there, they decayed right in front of them. Everybody saw the, them getting decayed. Yeah. So Abdul Mutlib saw the elephants getting decayed. Abdul Mutlib cannot be seeing that all of all of that decay because it takes years for an elephant to decay. Yeah. So probably it was not just a miracle of birds throwing stones, but probably what followed. It was a Both bigger miracle for the people Both of, of Makkah at that time. Uh, well, I think they actually didn't really, you know. Uh, pay heed to uh, how Miracle these birds came like, in. It's, yeah. it's Allah's house, so he did. I, I personally, he for Abdul Mutlib, uh, I actually think that he he, he knew all of that because the kind of dreams he saw before the. Uh, I think he saw. Uh, he, he could yeah, tell a lot yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the sea, a lot of things. This, uh, yeah. A lot of things. A lot of weird things happened to Abdul Mutlib, and so uh, he. I think he had a. Uh, because uh, you know, it's not a regular statement you make to a guy that you know just give me back my camels. Uh, I'll leave the Kaaba to the Lord of Kaaba. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not a regular statement. This yeah. guy has uh, seen a lot of weird things and uh, we just don't know it. So I don't know why we settle or how we settle Abdul Mutlib's psychology in his uh, life. And, uh, and, uh, you know, because, you know, Abhi Zamzam, uh, the story of uh, yeah. uh, Abdullah, uh, all of these things were uh, really extraordinary. Extraordinary. Yeah. Extraordinary. They're weirdly extraordinary. Yeah. And I'm probably yeah. using the word weird because it's strange. He lived a very strange, uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of strange happenings happened to uh, Abdul Muttalib. So, okay. okay, you know, even if he did, uh, those people didn't really, you know, uh, you know, they took it a little superstitiously and uh, they said that, you know, Allah sent his, sent his uh, special birds as a, a certain uh, punishment to Abraha. But uh, we know that, you know, that's as weird as it gets. SubhanAllah. Okay. <clears throat> then the next ayah. But the reminiscence is very clear. The same kind of portal is going to open to send different kind of birds yeah. which are going to carry at uh, Yajuj and Majuj. Yeah. All of a sudden the sky is going to fill up with those birds and, you know, because Yajuj and Majuj are going to be in billions. Yeah. SubhanAllah. Wow. Okay. And indeed we will make that which is upon it into a barren ground. Yeah. Okay, now the story starts. Or, um, sorry, let me. I've lost track. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. O Prophet, do you find the companions in the cave and al-Raqim so wondrous among all our other signs? When the young men sought refuge in cave and said, Our Lord, grant us your mercy and find us a good way out of your ordeal. Uh, this is, uh, I think, okay, let's, uh, let's just finish this, because uh, you're at number 8 right now? Uh, number 10, this one was number 10. Uh, yeah, okay, so, uh, this is a, uh, let's just finish the first chapter of the first 10 verses. Okay. Okay, we are going to go into Surah Kaf in detail, okay. but the first 10 verses uh, have this uh, uh, story started for, for uh, the yeah. uh, Ashab Kaf now. Yeah. Now, uh, see, this is this is some some of one of the biggest uh, help that we could get uh, uh, from Surah Kaf that uh, the Surah's name is called Kaf. Yeah. Okay. And that's a cave, and uh, that's a story of uh, certain people who are fleeing. And uh, when uh, the Prophet said, "When you see a Dajjal, just flee, for you cannot okay. find or fight or kill him." And that's exactly what happened to the people of the cave. They could not fight or kill that dead tyrant. So what they did was they fleed. And this is a, a very big uh, indicator of uh, what we should be doing. Hmm. When uh, the child is going to come, we should be fleeing. But just like yeah. a sabi calf. So uh, in, uh, in other words, uh, you know, figuratively speaking, they had uh, the jal of their time. And then they fleed into a cave. And that cave turned out to be a time travel. You know, uh, so I think uh, this is pretty much a, a a clue as to what we are going to be or we should be doing. And those people will be the people of the cave uh, who are going to be running towards mountains and fleeing and trying to hide and wither out the period of ad Because hmm. believers will not have any other choice but to wither the period of ad -Dajjal. Okay, so ayah number 9 and 10. Yeah. It just mentions. Mentions a little a story about the Jal of a, a time, not literally, but you know, a tyrant mm. king, mm. and people cannot fight him, so they're fleeing, and they're fleeing towards a cave, and that mountain has a cave, and that cave actually makes them wither that tyrant uh, through time. Yeah. So that's what the instruction to all Muslims is when you find uh, the Jal, flee. flee. Towards where? Mountains. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh, those people will be at the level of the people of the cave. Who are going to find the child and still would be believers, and instead of fighting or doing something or giving bayah, they will flee towards the mountains, and the Surah Kaf might just be able to uh, convert that uh, into a, a, a or, or, or a way for them to wither at the child's time period. Uh, however, it's going to do that. We're going to cover that later on through uh, the story of Zulkarnain uh, and uh, Musa alayhi salam. Uh, the very concepts that actually uh, they are given in. Um, so this is uh, the first 10 ayahs. So I think we should, uh, yeah. We should take a break here. Yeah, I we think? should take a break uh, okay. for the 10 ayahs so because we can pick up a lot of speed in from the, the 11th ayah to the uh, 30th ayah. And then uh, that's going to be all about the surah, uh, the people of the cave. Okay, inshallah. So inshallah, we'll see you in our next uh, episode, inshallah, inshallah, which will start from the ayah number 11 of Surah Al-Kahf. Assalamu alaikum wa